Local Tights TV. Apologies if I come across a bit bunged up and that this day and over cold and stuff. So, and this reasons why I haven't been a, a a preview to the Stockport game, and it probably as 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 rough out as our feeling. I think it showed in my display as well. So we'll get on about that before we get into the video as well. Just want to send me heartfelt condolences with the rest of the people. Dan, I am at district recording. Morning, uh, morning mate. Uh, yeah, just uh, just about to mention, mate, about heartfelt condolences for the West Brom fan that sadly lost his life uh, yesterday. Um, you know. I think rest of football in world when you know you go you go to watch football you don't you, you know you just want to go and come back to your family and unfortunately it didn't happen so just want to pass my thoughts and condolences to West Brom fan um, family and friends and that mate so not a nice yeah, situation absolutely. at all absolutely absolutely yeah uh, so yeah getting back to game Dan I mean well we'll get we'll we'll. Rip meat off at bones. What what bit of meat there is left on bones? Because I'm I'm not happy on some of the interviews after the game with some of the excuses, feeble excuses. It's starting to wear a bit of thin now. Um, I've seen certain certain fans calling things out, which I, I think's quite uh, quite rightly so as well, and not and it's not being disrespectful as well. But mm. looking at start eleven, mate. Um, bump for starts. You know, Keeler done. First start eleven looked a pretty decent side. If I'm being, if I'm not being too funny, mate. No, I had no problems with the starting eleven. Uh, not its lightest. Uh, I think I think we put out a good side. I think Humphreys deserved an opportunity to play. Um, if he had to start, sorry, if he's if because of goal that he he contributed against Burton Albion. Um, so there were no complaints about starting eleven. I mean, if it were, I mean, obviously we're probably going to go down to performance later. But mm. overall, I mean, on the surface at least, there were no problems. There were no problems from me with starting eleven. Maybe we mean drafting in. I didn't realise Pines were on bench. In all honesty, yeah. um, <laughs> until until the until they put him on. But uh, but I, if I'm if I'm perfectly honest, Neil, I didn't feel I didn't feel that back. Well, I'm going to call it a back three, so because obviously with centre half, three centre half, mm. I didn't think that particularly the problem. I think that were, if anything, I thought that were quite that were one of his best, best aspects last night. To be honest, I think three of them just played really well. Um, it was a good job, really. I was going to say I think we had to, in some respect, doesn't it? But you know, yeah, we have a reason behind that. But I mean, we started off penalty as well. Um, I mean, what a start after a few minutes. I'm thinking. Are we going to get this penalty? Yeah, we did. And I'm thinking we can knock, we, you know, we can move on from there. We did for probably about 10 minutes after that, if I'm being funny, if I'm not being funny at all. But after yeah. that, it seemed to be, I don't know, sit back, soak it up, mm. both ball up front. Uh, I don't know, mate. It, 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 it was a bizarre first half. I'm not even getting to the second half yet. But I mean, I don't know where. I'm trying to be respectful here. The midfield seemed to be non-existent, as in Adam Phillips, after, apart from penalty, him, I, I thought he would look absolutely knackered, mate, throughout the rest mm. of the game. I'm surprised he didn't get subbed off it sooner, but it, I don't know, mate. It, it, it threw me, to be fair, for stay. I mean, I'm going to be, I'm going to be quite, I'm going to try and be as balanced as I can, Neil. Yeah. I think there is, a, there possibly is an issue with fatigue, um, we are playing a lot of back. We are playing a lot of Tuesday, Saturdays, Tuesday, Saturdays at the moment, and that does take a, take a lot out of players. Having said that, you know, we, we, people are going on about this being the best start to the season we've had in, we've had for six years, and the last time we had this was going to start, I think it was under Stendhal. Am I am I right by saying mm. that, Neil? Mm. Yeah. Um, it was best start from when I'm uh, from from uh, since since we had Stendhal. I think if you're going to make that comparison, you need to compare it to how we played under Stendhal. And that is a very important... For example, under Stendhal, we didn't settle. 
We didn't settle when we were 1-0 up. We wanted constantly more. It were energetic. It were lively. It were intense. It were constantly putting opposition under pressure, making them make the mistakes and them jumping on it. I saw absolutely nothing of that for 80 minutes. I saw absolutely nothing of it. I understand that sometimes, I mean, the, 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 the criticism against the midfield, I don't particularly have a problem with <coughs> people saying, well, it's not, no, it was non existent. Well, every time we tried to play through Craig, he kept getting pinned and he kept losing ball. Yeah. Now, we can blame Matty Craig on that, but the reality is, Matty Craig's a decent player. He just needs that bit, bit of time to turn and try and pick a ball out, and then Connell and Phillips Norman does work. I don't, so I don't really have a problem with that, and sometimes you have to play it over back line. The problem is when we were playing over back line and trying to chip it over to wing, uh, put it over to Cotter, or trying to oof the uh, oof ball up to Humphreys. Oh, they were, we tried to do it numerous times, probably five, six, seven, eight, up to fifteen times, and it didn't work. Yeah. It, looked, it was so poor, and I'm thinking, how can you get this wrong so many times before you say, "Jesus, we need to do something here. We need to try and." We need to try and take risks in game. And I think the one thing that really gets under my skin is that we settled. We said, oh, it's 1-0, it's right. Mm. Just carry on doing it. It's 1-0. Three at lads are doing all right at centre-back. We'll, 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 we'll deal with this. We'll iron it out. I did, I'm not being... And I don't want to act like I'm being disrespectful to Stockport. Stockport are a great club. They've got a great philosophy. I like Dave Challoner and what he's doing there. Yeah, I do. But yeah. that's not what Stockport weren't at their best last night. And anybody mm. who, and I'll argue when anybody until cats come home, they weren't at the best and they could have been beaten last night. And unfortunately, it was due to, I think, lack of risk taking. Uh, there were no risk taking from, uh, from a tactical perspective. There was a few players that probably went um, that probably went missing. I think there were too much wayward passing. I think substitutions did not make. I did not get the sense behind those substitutions. We were watching. I'd tell you, obviously, we, the people know who's watching. We've got group chats, and I would spoke to Charlie. I, I text him, and both of us said straight away at the same time, "I'm not sure about these subs." Mm. And yeah, unfortunately, it, 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 it's not. It's brought up a lot of questions as that performance, plus the things that's happened in previous games, and all fans are asking a lot of questions, and I think that's right, rightfully so. Yeah, I mean, going back to the first day, I mean, both uh, Corey Addy and uh, Gabby uh, Solanina, two, you know, two keepers, but pulled off some decent saves as well, some double saves. Uh, mm -hmm. Fair play to pairing them. Uh, Gabby, you know, come out. Uh, saved, come back, and then a double save again, and he was he was proper up for it. I'm thinking good save. Same as Corey at uh, at eighty, which some Bounds fans might know or might not know. We had him on loan a few seasons back, like and we were linked with him before he moved from Corley to Stockport. It's some mm. tall keeper, uh, and again, he he just goes to show what what talent is via. I like Dave Chandler a lot, me, I, I, um, and I'm and people what. You can go back to videos uh, when we were getting Collins. I said, right back until then, I said, I'd like this gaffer at my club because he he, he knows how he wants to play. Uh, yeah. Pretty young manager yeah. and he's got his own philosophy. I'm looking at Dave Clark, uh, Daryl Clark, sorry now, and some of his comments are coming out, oh, uh, we're loose here, we're loose in midfield, we're loose in that. But I could like counter that, and I get where you're coming from. It's it's an high impact, high intensity game, you know, a midweek because we've got another one coming up on Tuesday. Then we've got a big game. Well, they are big games, I suppose. Well, you know, we've got Wickham Tuesday, we've got Huddersfield on Saturday. Thick, thick and fast, thick and fast coming up, right? And I saw a comment, and I thought, you know what, fair play, that's a right comment, but we all know that Conor Ulan is going to be more on uh, coaching side now. Totally get that, but. Why can't it be a player coach on sub bench and at least come on and try and make a difference? It's like a day if it needs to be. I don't get all, that. In all honesty, Neil, I don't think Connor's answer. 
I don't think he will I, I don't think he's answered, but I think he could help because I think, I think uh, in midfield, yeah, we, but, yeah. if, if, if Daniel Clark's like saying, oh, we'll lose him here, we'll lose him here. Well, I'm looking at players who's going to come on and actually like, right, like you said earlier, who's, who's a sub going to come on here and actually say, do you know what? Grass fish now, but it was, I didn't see that. No, I no, I didn't. That. And I, I didn't, and and you know, I mean, swap it to strikers. I had seen, I had seen, uh, bloody hell, Keeler Dunn play longer than 50 minutes. No, it's like, which wow. is favorite position because that's a, another question what's being asked and all. Why, but, why is he, why is he not been able to play longer than 50 minutes? It, mm. it, it baffles me. Maybe, maybe it's like, well, keeping fresh, I understand that, but. You need a goal. That that's that you need a goal in that game, you know, to, to put it to bed. Mm. And if I'm honest, Deal Keeler Dunn, he looks lively when we manage to get space down that left hand side. But against Stevenage, he looks so isolated. Mm. And it will and I'm thinking maybe putting him into more of a central role. And trying to get it through midfield, but the problem was is that we weren't trying to get it through midfield. We were trying to we were trying we're to bypass him over the top. <coughs> yeah. I, I just think that there's a problem with Neil. Um, yes, well, yesterday you can change personnel as much as you want, but that I think yesterday, and may I say, a couple of other performances before that. It's about attitude. Mm. It's about you changing the momentum, the tempo of a game by your players taking risks and being able to say, you know what, we are going to try and play it straight into Lucas' feet and he's going to have to try and make a quick pass because and try and split defence. That's what... <sighs> That's what the crux of it is. And the truth is, you know, I mean, I can talk about Cosgrove and March until cows come home. Mm. And, you know, a lot of Barnes fans would agree with me, but I would imagine. But there's, but it's about changing your attitudes, taking risks and understanding when to take those risks. So there's, there's a min if it does go wrong, there's a minimal amount of blowback. So it's high risk, high reward. Uh, so it's not high reward. high risk. Yeah, it, you know, but I just, I just don't see it. And and you know, Daryl, just going back to manager, I, I think he's go, he's he's walking himself. And I really want him to be a success at Oakwell, but he's walking himself into a trap. We, uh, he's, he's people are saying he talks a good game, but he don't deliver it. Mm. And these mistakes keep on occurring now. And I think you're not I'm, learning. I'm getting worried for it. I mean, how many games have played now? It's seven, seven About, or eight games. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, these are repetitive mistakes. And we, it's coming across with the same criticisms pretty much every time we 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 either drop points or lose. And that's not that's not good enough. There needs to be improvements out on pitch. Here's another one for you, Ben and all, Danny. I'm glad you mentioned that uh, because at first it was refreshing as a fan to hear, oh, yeah, uh, players should be this, and blah, 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 which is fine. I, I totally get that and what, that's what all those fans want. And now there's a fair few and there were a few in Ponte behind me as well who are saying, oh, what's his, pre you know, what's his uh, match conference? Uh, Press match conference going to be it's going to be certain players what's not been up to standard or this haven't been doing that and we haven't been impressed with that he went but if i were a player and gaff is coming out and saying oh uh players haven't done this you haven't done this all blah 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 sooner or later i'm not saying it could but some of them players in vehicle said you know what it don't matter what i do here we're just going to get it's going to be players fault it's going to be players fault and i'm thinking hmm if will that be another angle? Because at the end of the day, no player did, wants to go out and play poorly, and we'll get on the back second half in a minute. But it's like you look at Daryl Clark and he comes out and he'll say, Oh, yeah, uh, players against Lincoln City. For one, this stands out in my mind, and I think it will up under Daryl Clark's reign while everybody's at Barnsley. Went to Lincoln City, a ground we haven't won in 20 odd years. It's never been a, a favourite ground to, for Ooh, Barnsley to yeah, win, right? Hard game to play. Yeah, uh, we won 2-1 and he said that fans were 10 out of 10 and 
how we play roughly out of 10. Standards should be better, but so I'm aware. I'm thinking, wow, that's you must have some really high standards then. Yeah, mm-hmm. probably not the best performance, but we got a result, we did the job. Now, if I'd been a player, I'd be thinking, well, hold on a minute, we've come here, not a good track record at Lincoln. We've won 2 1, we've come away. And yet, Gaffer's like saying in media, oh, yeah, players off the out of 10 for standards. I'm like, you, you see where I'm coming from? I'm like, mm. how many times can Daryl Clark keep like saying, yes, uh, like I say, yes, it's a performance? I think he got interviewed on Sky, he got interviewed on Radio Sheffield, and I was fed up of the term loose. We're loose in possession there, we're loose in midfield there, we're loose. And I'm thinking, but what did you do to address it? I don't want to read it after no. saying we're loose. What do you do to nip it at bud to stop it from being loose? But I didn't. But, but in all honesty, to go against to go against Dar- what Daryl Clark said, we were loose. It's like well, we didn't try and out ball. Exactly. It's like we, we, exactly we we're getting it, lumping it. We uh, cr- when we played crawling, <coughs> for example, we we won three now. Hmm? You know, and we played well. Uh, to, in all fairness, and but we didn't try not ball. And it works against certain sides. Mm. But the problem is, is that you need to take accountability when it doesn't work. And it didn't work last night. They were, you know, their fullbacks were on it. Yeah. To me. Yeah. And that all fairness to Stockport for that. But, you know, it weren't working. And that's switching it up from a tactical perspective. That's not all to do with players. You need to... You know, there were a few players in there that didn't perform well, but you need to try and try and try to approach things from a different from a different perspective. They did. They switched. I mean, they sw- yeah, they did. Yeah, the young uh, that young kid they've got um, is his name Barry Banage. You know, they, he's by far away their most creative player. Yeah, I would say um, a really good player, and you know they put him in a more central role, took him half out off at wing. And you know it. I mean, their goal would their goal with their goal. I mean, I don't think. I think it will come in. To be if fair, it for both sides to lose, they would have lost. You yeah. know, if it yeah. Was I think it will come uh, in. To be but, fair, but they made changes they needed, and they they put people in different positions, and it came off for them. I think in the last twenty minutes, it kind of opened up in midfield, and we were too many times where Benson were. Benson were trying to make a. Benson were doing more defending than he were yeah. putting him in midfield, uh, which were disappointing because against Burton, he came on, he did actually really well. Mm. And I think he did provide something, add something into the game. And you look at that and you try and compare it, it's, it, it's, it's it was just so disappointing from a tactical perspective. Yeah. So disappointing. I mean, the second half, I mean, We'll get on a back penalty. What it penalty warrant it? I personally thought it won. People be saying, "Oh yeah, you think you won?" But we you looked it. It was like side challenge. I've seen him get. I've seen him not get. You know what I mean? Uh, I haven't watched. Is this the one penalty. DKD? This mate. Yeah. 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 He was, I think it was Stonewall penalty. And I, I haven't watched it back. Uh, I'll probably will do a bit later on. But apart from that, and the double save, I, I, I was talking to my son and a few uh, mates around us, and that, and was saying. Apart from that, did we really fret? We were sat back, we were camped in. What, and you sat in, you sat at Ponte and you could see at one point, I think, I don't know, for like 10 minutes ago, we were under Kosh. And you could see all at East End, I think it was, kind of left house to pick ball up. And all, all, everybody's like in East End saying, get, push forward, push up, get out, get out. Yeah. But nobody crossed the halfway line. And I'm like, here we go again. And you could see it coming. The, the intensity there and, you know, and I know he played it down, Daryl Clark, and he said, oh, yeah, but it would reflect a shot and it went in. The amount of pressure we invited to send on us, it would inevitably... Mm-hmm. We were chucking yeah. bodies in front of... in line at ball all the time. It was getting repetitive, repetitive. I'm thinking, sooner or later, someone's going to go their way. And fair play to Stockport County fans and all, the right following they brought. And mess them yeah, they, they do, they do. Fair play to Stockport County. And I'm walking out there, and... I said to my son, I said, you know what? We didn't deserve out from that. We did not deserve a point from that. From our day, our day challenge adjusted his stop point side, second day especially. 
I said, we were lucky to come away with a draw here. I said, because they knew our witnesses, short corners all the time. Amount of time we were shouting out, watch for the short corner. What? Nobody were tracking back, nobody were going to it. It were a free reign when we were taking the corner. Lazy, top court. They, they, that was, that's the crux of it, Neil. It felt lazy at some times. Yeah. It felt lazy. And that's one thing that you can't abide by. That, you know, players need to answer for that as well. Yeah. That's not down. And, and, you know, I can go, I can, we've talked about Daryl Clark at Tactics, but there were a lot of players just like, they look like they're on they're playing pre season. And no, that, of course wasn't, mate, yeah. that wasn't good enough. Yeah, you know, we were, yeah, yeah, I mean, like you said, it's not part of adjustments, but I mean, overall, I think. I, I thought, we'd, honest, honest to God, Neil, I think I came away from that game, and up to about eighty-eight minutes, I thought we'd got it. I thought we'd managed to just sneak it over the line. Um, I'm not saying it were a, it were the greatest performance in the world. It weren't pretty by any stretch of the imagination, and there would have been a lot of questions asked. Mm. Uh, half, uh, there would have been a lot of questions asked after the game, but th- the truth is, you only need one. You only need one or two chances. That's it, and that's when your game's gone. Yeah. Football's changed now, where you have, you, where teams can have absolutely pepper your goal, and you, and you, you know, they absolutely pepper your goal. They don't. They, they're efficient football team. They get the sends into opportunities and get the sends into spaces. Mm. And they're expected to stick it, sticking it back at net, mm. and that, and and the tr- they're ruthless in doing it. That's why I'm on. That's how footballs change. You know, you don't need ten shots on target. You need th- you need three, and that's yeah. it. Yeah. You know, and I just think, I, I think if if that's what Daryl Clark said, I think it's, I think it's a bit of naivety, and I think it's digging your head in sand a little bit. Just a bit, in it. I I just think it's. Yeah, I mean, it, it is poor. It's not good enough. It's not good enough at all. That game were winnable. I don't think Stockport County were anywhere near the best. No. And, thank, and thank God they weren't. Yeah, uh, it would have been a different outcome altogether. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I just think, I just think, uh, you know, in in end, I think a draw were a draw were probably probably fair, but weren't good enough. Were nowhere near good enough. Mm. Nowhere near good enough. Hundred percent, mate. Uh, again, coming up on Tuesday, like we've been on about Wigan game. We'll probably, we'll probably try and get a video for that tomorrow. Uh, Dan, yeah, I mean, it's it something like a loss. Um, people will still try and pick positives out on it, but looking at on socials and stuff, there's a fair amount of people starting to get a bit brand off weight like now. But it's you know the same kind of style of football from last season. We, you know, we go up and be content with it, rather than like what you said right at the beginning of the show, you got to, if you're doing comparisons, go back to Stendhal. When we went one no up, we didn't settle on it. We tried to go for another. We tried to, like, kill game. And I think what I'm seeing at minute, up to now, I'm not seeing that with tactics. Uh, I was kind of setting out. Um, no. You need to bear um, in mind as well, Neil, the, we, 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 we've played, and I mean this with the greatest respect to the sides we've played, We've not played your Birmingham's. We've not played your Udders Fields. We've not played your Rotherham's. We've not played. I mean, Charlton start the season quite well, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Um, we've not played those sides. Fair point. Yeah. Where there's where they have got, they have got quality, and mm-hmm. you know, it's all right saying that you know. Well, they aren't. They aren't. They aren't peppered as call. They don't need to. They don't need to do that. They'll just pick up. They'll just one of their quality players pick it up. Take a runway, one one touch passing, they're in box and they're scoring, yeah. and then that's it. You you're fighting against the game when you go one nil down, yeah. Um, and you know that you know I'm. They need to learn, and they need to learn quickly because, you know, we saw our record against top six teams last season really affected us. Yeah, <laughs> not great. We're going to need to need to need, need to at least be. Three, three or four top teams to to be able to get to where we want. Mm. If promotion is what we, if the if those automatics are are still uh, are still achievable, but hopefully we can learn from it and 
hopefully we can learn from last night and move on from it. And move on. Dan, as always, mate, it's been a pleasure. Like I said, we've got two big games coming up. Uh, Wickham, Tuesday, Huddersfield away Saturday. That's going to be an interesting one. Uh, yeah, leave your comments below. What, let me know your thoughts. You know, do you agree? Have we been to our and Gaffer and players? I don't think we have been. I think we've called it for what it is. And again, frustration. Uh, people would have said, well, but it's, it's more a results than performance. But you look at that kind of performance and... It's not going to bode well for the rest of the season. But, yeah, Dan, thanks for taking time out, mate, and joining us. Uh, appreciate yep. it. Please like, subscribe and share. Let us know your thoughts below. Uh, one thing left to say, you're